final message to the whole of humanity. Is that enough? And all those 12 people, we need to make sure that they have ijma', they have unanimity on the concept, for example, of Trinity. Tell me that, give me a transmission now of the names of those 12 people who are the disciples of Jesus, and let's make sure that at least five of them agree on the concept of Trinity that you have today. It's a question. It's a valid question. Give me a, a, a transmission at least to seven people of the disciples of Jesus that agree that the original sin is a fundamental belief of Jesus. Give me seven people of the disciples of Jesus. I'm asking you. You will give me the saying of Paul, interpretation of Paul, of Mark. Of this. Give me seven people, or at least five people, who agree unanimously because ijma is a fundamental criterion in Islam, ijma. We want ijma, we want unanimity on the disciples of Jesus, on the things that you think they are the fundamentals of Christianity today. Trinity, give me now a valid, authenticated channel of narrators that shows that the Trinity is a point that Jesus have highlighted and made it a fundamental issue of his creed. So if you are interested in that, I'll be more than happy to share those things with you. If you're going to pick uh, first from here, uh, from there and here and there, I am not into that business. Because that's a dirty business, which is basically giving people nothing. You're not leading to people to anywhere. What you're doing is not leading people. You're not purifying people. People here need to be purified physically and spiritually. Spiritually through worshiping one God, may his name be glorified. Physically, they need to make prayers, they need to give alms, they need not to kill to these all things. So you need to understand these things. You are not purifying people. All what you are doing is just bashing Islam day and night and you are the loser. Anyway, I'm leaving. Uh, if you are interested in that, if you are Prince Chris, uh, Chris, if you are interested in sharing your the concept of oneness of God in Christianity, I am willing to share it in Islam. Purification of Christianity in Islam, I'm willing to do that. If you are into that, I am into that business. Something else, I'm going to leave. I'm not into your uh, bashing of the prophets, Jesus and all the prophets. You are lying about them. Take the mic, please. All right. I would like for you all to help me out because this is a raised G1. And I want to explain to <laughs> Lord have mercy. Listen, Mr. Bader, you are welcome in my room first, and everybody witness that he, I gave him, what, five minutes talking, right? Am I heard? Am I heard, guys? I gave him five minutes talking, he talked about many things, and now he's saying he's leaving. And he is the one who mentioned that you want to speak about the original sin, correct? In the front of the room, I will show you that you Muslims, I'm not bashing your prophet, I'm exposing him. There's a huge difference. Because you just said Islam is against a huge, against a original sin. When your prophet, he mentioned this hadith. I want everybody to open this hadith and read with me. Narrated by Abu Huraira, the prophet said, Adam and Moses, Adam and who? And Moses argue with each other. Moses said to Adam, O oh Adam, you are the father, you, you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise. Then Adam said to him, look at this. Moses, Allah favored you in his, with his talk, talk with you or to you directly. He wrote the Torah for you with his hands. Do you blame me? for action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation? So Adam overcome in the debate, Moses. Who is the winner? Oh. Okay, am I heard now? Am I heard now? All right. So, let us read again. So Moses and Adam, this is the hadith, Moses and Adam, 
They are debating. Obviously, Moses believed in the original sin. Correct, guys? Moses, he believed in the original sin. Because Moses saying to Adam, because of you, we are out of heaven. Yeah, yeah, run, run, run. Better run, because now everybody will see how stupid your prophet is. It's time to run, right? You're asking Muslim to run, because now I'm going to show you how stupid your prophet is. You see the coward? He came, he says, he want to ask me, he want to debate me. If you, I am willing to do that, he is willing for it. And now he's asking Muslims to leave because he's a coward. How come in the hadith it says that Moses believed in the original sin? According to your prophet, Moses agree with us. Moses is a believer in the original sin. Adam, he don't believe in the original sin. He believe it is his fate. Which is very stupid to say. Why? Because when you say, it is written for me 40 years before my creation to do sin, so what the point of kicking me from heaven? If Allah is the one who decides for me my sin, why I want to go out of heaven? Oh, I miss, I miss. You explain. Instead of explaining, you are run. Guys, when Adam, he says, it's written in my fate 40 years before my creation, the question is why Allah kicked him from heaven if Allah is the one who wrote in his fate. You see how stupid this religion is? Allah, he wrote in his fate 40 years before his born or his creation that he will do commit sin. And he wrote for him the sin. And Allah punished him for what he wrote for him. Same time, Moses, he be, is a believer in the original sin. Musa is a believer in the original sin. So not only the Christian believe in the original sin. So Musa is stupid too. Musa is the great prophet of God. He believed in the original sin. Not only the Christians. What about the hadith where Muhammad, he said, if there is no Eve, no woman will betray her husband. What, what, what? If there is no Eve, there is no woman betray her husband. That is original sin. Correct, guys? Because Muhammad accusing women to do sin because they inherit sin from Eve. Correct? When you say if there is no Eve, there is no woman do sin and no woman will betray her husband, you are just saying that all the sin is coming from the original sin, the sin of Eve, but in, in this case he blamed Eve only, not Adam. So now I want you to come to the mic, Mr. Badr, and answer the hadith I gave you and the other hadith about Eve. And explain to me why your God teaching the Muslims that Moses is a believer in the original sin, but the fact Allah is the one who caused people to sin. In the fact what? Allah is the one who caused people to do sin. Who's saying that? Allah, Prophet. Allah wrote the sin of Adam 40 years before his creation. So do you want to come to the mic, explain, or do you want to run, Mr. Badr? Why your prophet saying that Allah, he decides for us our sin 40 years before we commit sin. He is the one. You know, look what Adam says. Are you blaming me? Do you blame me, Moses, for what is written for me 40 years before my creation by Allah. So which mean, you cannot blame a human being for his sin. You see how stupid this story? You cannot blame a human being for his sin. You should blame Allah. So Allah is the one who make people commit sin. Allah is the one who decide for them to do sin. And then Allah, he punish you for doing what he decide for you. How stupid this religion can be more than this? The mic is yours, Mr. Badr. Go ahead.
always when I have a problem with questions, I read the shared chapters, but I read it back backward as the prophet he said. I know, but he's not taking the mic. Better take the mic, man. We are waiting for the answer. How Adam he's saying, and uh, and actually the hadith says it clearly that the one who won the debate is who is Adam, which means Adam is the correct one. Correct, guys. Adam is the one who won the debate. So Muhammad saying Adam was right. You cannot blame Adam for his sin. Blame Allah. <laughs> Unbelievable. So it is Allah fault, and yes, we will we will go to hell because of Allah fault. Allah is the one who decide our sin. Allah He make us say sin. Allah make us do sin. Allah now right now according to this hadith, Allah is the one who made me do this. And later Allah will punish me for doing what he made for me to do. Take the mic, take the mic. Better, people are waiting, man. People are waiting, your mic. Hello? You don't want to talk no more? That's it? So next time, this is why Muslims don't dare to, to, uh, to, to debate me. Take the mic, man. We are waiting for the answer. Why the why your prophet saying that the one who make you do sin is Allah and you cannot blame Adam for his sin? The hadith in front of you. The mic is yours. It's a very normal case. Always when you put a Muslim in the corner, he can, he was excited. He want to debate us. He is challenging us, and suddenly, zip, mouth, zip. No answer. Nothing. Finito. Let me talk. I keep asking you to talk. You're my. Go ahead. Listen, uh, Christian, because I really, uh, the people here, they don't have uh, any much understanding of Islam. That's why uh, you are marketable here. You are marketable. But I want to say something that uh, we need to understand that before we talk about these things and interpret it. I'm not going to interpret it because whatever interpretation I give you, you are not going to buy. Likewise, the people who follow your methodology are not going to buy. First of all, we have to establish who is God and what is the scripture of God and these things afterwards you build up on that and that's why when Jesus he said that the greatest uh, commandment is oh Israel know that God is one why did he say that that's the greatest commandment because once you know who is God and what are his attributes characteristics and so on and so on afterwards you build up on it but we are doing you are going to brother I accuse you to be a coward you are run you can run guys isn't it was this is a question wasn't this, this is a, is a question? Now we put him in the corner, he don't want to talk about it no more. He want to talk about different things. What What is the reason? Whatever I say to you, you will accept. I can say the same to you too. When you asked me the question, I did not say whatever I say to you, you will not accept. You are the one who asked the question. I, you are in the corner. Don't tell me whatever you say, I'm not going to accept. Don't worry about that. You are not answering me, you are answering everybody. Some they will accept, some they will refuse. This is not your business, not my business. Let people hear the answer. Correct, guys? Am I being fair? This is his question. This is his topic. He is the one who come with it. He is the one who asked for it. And now when we put him in the corner, he will talk about different stories. Take the mic and tell us why your prophet saying that the one Moses says here, he believe in the original sin. Your prophet, he said, that the correct thing is, you cannot blame Adam for his sin.